Uh, Len is my name and uh, I'm a power line technician. I didn't really know anything about the trade. Um, lots of friends for a gentleman that I worked for were power line technicians back well, like when I was 18. So they, I got to know them from a previous job and then they were, uh, hey, you know what, I have the size for it and they said we want you to try out for it and stuff and they knew that what I was doing at that time maybe wasn't going to be as productive a career so uh, I actually just ended up falling into it. I love what I do every day. It's We get the best equipment, we get all the great toys to play with, people go by and they just have this awe about them. You really feel like you're empowered being up there and you get to go up there and when you restore the power, there's no better feeling. There's no better feeling. Any lineman will tell you, it's like a sickness. We want to have the hydro on. When it goes off, we get this almost like an adrenaline rush where you want to do whatever it takes to get it back on. Storms and anything, it's all, all the same. I look forward to all the cool equipment that we get to use and just so, so there's something different every day where you're never doing the same thing twice. There's no monotony to the job. You may be in five different locations in a day. Outdoors is a huge part of it. If, if you like the outdoors, this is definitely the job for you. And uh, lots of fresh air, lots of, lots of, and the equipment. I, I, I know I go on a bit, the equipment's cool, yeah. Huge responsibility is the safety. One miss up, uh, one false move, not watching your partner, that stuff, it's obviously detrimental, deadly in a lot of cases. Uh, there's lots of incidents and accidents that you see people missing limbs and stuff from it. So safety is the absolute number one part of it. And uh, communication, huge. You really have to make sure that everybody's on the same page. We have huge documents that we fill out daily that make sure everybody's on the same page. We sign them with our official signature and it's, it's, it's a huge part of it. Most of the stuff that we do is energized. When, when you see guys out there working, the power's still on all around them and stuff. A lot of people think that misconception that we shut everything off to work on it. We don't, we just do it safely and properly and, and follow all the methods and that's, that's a big part of it. When the power's off, it's not lax and easy. There, there are days, don't get me wrong, where if you're doing maintenance or a new build or something, everything is new and nice and stuff, but when that thunderstorm rolls through or the ice storm or anything like that, that's when it's go time and you, you don't know what you're going to, you're kicking snow trying to find a connection that you can use and reuse at the next spot. You're always scrounging and stuff. When, when people drive by and they see a guy up in the air and maybe two or three guys standing on the ground, that's to, so that we can meet the rule requirements. We always have to have that dedicated observer, so if we have two guys up in the air, we have to have a set of eyes on the ground keeping an eye on us and just being in location and stuff. So a lot of times it looks like we're just standing there all day looking up, but we're actually meeting the rules by doing that. So that's, that's a bit of a misconception too. Um, a lot of the stuff that we do is we have to maintain our clearances from the energized line. So a lot of our stuff is out here and it's big heavy equipment. So you want to have a set of shoulders on you. You really get into body positioning and ergonomics as, as you train through. And that's a huge part of it now. Um, we have some, some girls that are going through. What I find is that they're phenomenal with the trucks. They really use the truck to their advantage for positioning and stuff like that. Whereas a guy my size and everything now is a lot lighter than what it was. but. It's, it was always just you, you, you had some girth about you as, as a lineman. If you enjoy the outdoors and you have no um, fears of heights, uh, that's a huge one. You can't be afraid of heights and you just want to put in a good day's work and, and make a decent living, that's, that's the one. But the outdoors, really good equipment, very, very safe as long as you adhere to all the rules. You, it's, it's an excellent job. I wouldn't trade it for the world.